Hey, I'm Cody. And I'm Brent. And we are the Huguenots, uh, talking today about the top five best sci-fi worlds and what a world even really means. No, these are not in rank order. These are just the top five we couldn't pick between them. They're all great. Uh, but yeah, Cody, what's first? First, in no particular order, is uh, Rendezvous with Rama. I mean, just getting to see, once we see what's kind of inside the cylinder from outer space, um, it's just a cool, cool thing to explore. And it's a great example of a world that is um, in the sense of like a literal setting, right? It's a very, very cool setting that makes us want to think about it more, what possible stories could happen in it, what story did happen in it in the actual novel. Um, so it's a very like literal um, and, and finite definition of what world means in fiction a lot. Yeah. Love Rama too. I'm going to go with uh, the world of, of Snow Crash, um, particularly like this idea of an immersive alternate reality. So Snow Crash is set you know, sort of half in the real world and half in the metaverse, um, which is this VR world that they're spending time in. A book was written in the early 90s, extremely prophetic. I mean, Facebook has now like changed their company name to match this satirical right. sci-fi novel. Um, but it's super fun and just so engrossing. I mean, the real world is also full of extremely cool, fun technology. There's this crazy skateboard wheels that can like adjust to any surface. So, uh, uh, they can like skate super fast down freeways and all kinds of just crazy fun stuff happening. It's a really zany, wild, fun world. And on every page, it feels like they're like finding a cool new fun thing. Did we just do an episode on snow crash? I yeah, if you did not watch um. our episode about snow crash, go <laughs> check it out. It is a great book. We love it. Yes, we do. Um, and third on the no particular order list is Hyperion. Um, both the actual setting, the planet of Hyperion, which the pilgrims visit, um, is super cool and has that kind of Arrakis Dooney feel, you know, the, the desert vibe, um, cool temples, the labyrinth that's natural underneath the planet's surface. Um, there's so much or that's interesting it? about that. Right. But then in... Uh, to stretch the definition to how we use world a lot, like the universe of the novel, um, you know, the, the, the whole thing, the technology, the way people live, um, Hyperion has the, a bunch of cool stuff, uh, but mainly the portal system that allows, uh, so cool. that, that's an explanation that allows for travel, like faster than light travel, essentially. Um, and it's used in a, a million cool ways. Uh, my favorite among them being uh, the poet who has a bathroom that's a raft on an all ocean planet that he just yeah, walks every, out yeah, of his every house. Room, every room of his house is on a different planet. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Loved it. Um, and then a, a different version entirely would be the dispossessed. Yeah. Ursula K. Le Guin. So I love that world because so it's uh, it's set. It's about a physicist who has grown up on this uh, um, sort of communal communist planet. And um, he is on the verge of this big discovery. And for various reasons, he needs to go uh, live for a while on this like extremely economically focused capitalists, you know, sort of hyper capitalist planet. And the setting and sort of his exploration of these two places lets us see like the goods and the bads um, of, of both systems in a really interesting way. You know, it's like it's like this gripping science fiction novel almost ends up being like one of my favorite ways to explore economic systems uh, of, of any I've read. I'm making it sound a little dusty, but it's a great book. <laughs> no, it's a wonderful political and economic uh, allegory at the same time as being so. Yeah, basically, so uh, yeah, there's 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 no perfect system is the is uh, is the vibe. Um, but yeah, anyway. And the last one that I just had to put on the list, um, you know, definitely is SFF. I would say some would argue it's more fantasy than sci-fi, um, but there's enough sci-fi in there. But the Dark Tower series by Stephen King, I just love that series so, so much. It's very dear to me and um, constantly think about its implications and that the world that, Ke that King built and all the different worlds that you travel through in this universe um, and this fantastic, fantastic uh, story that, he created. So, um, those are, those are our top five, um, you know, sci-fi worlds and Check what worlds even means world that you love that we didn't mention, please drop it in the comments. Let us know. Hit us up on discord. However yep. you want to chat. All right. We'll see you next time. Keep reading everybody. Bye.